What a city rivalry we have for you in college softball. WPI and Worcester State. WPI has already reached the 20-win plateau. Meanwhile, Worcester State is undefeated in league play. They played a doubleheader today. WPI won game one of the doubleheader. Highlights from game two. Under the lights, on the rooftop, just where you'd expect to be. Corey DeRosier, Shrewsbury native and former Holy Name standout, leading the Wu, the U, the Lancers. Bottom of the second, 7-1 Worcester State. WPI's Jacqueline Detroit with a bullet into right, and Kylie Juarez scores. It's 7 to 2. Josh and Randy and the gang enjoying this one. Sophomore Nina Murphy Cook, who had her 100th career hit earlier this year, slaps one through, and Tech with runners on first and second. Former Holy Name standout Ama Biney with a missile to center, robbed by her former teammate DeRosier. Sensational catch to end the inning and take away a run as well. Great defense from the Lancers and DeRosier. Bottom of the third, two on. Zoe Haley grabs the liner, fires to second. Double play. Just great defense from Worcester State and from Haley. Top of the fourth now. Sydney Dupree, former Wachusett standout. Ropes one off the fence in center field. Haley Terry moving up to third. And the Lancers are threatening. Kayla Humphrey, chopper to third. Terry coming in to score. It is 8-2 the U. Bottom of the fourth. Hope Shevchuk muscling up for WPI. Sending one over and out. It is a two-run home run for Shevchuk. WPI's pumped up, makes it 8-4. Dupree had a grand slam in this game for Worcester State. And the Lancers win game two, 8-5. So they split the doubleheader. Wachusett and Westboro, girls lacrosse, first half, Emma LaPosta. The goal for Wachusett, and it is 3-1. Wachusett is down by two. Telegram photog Steve Lanava, a master at his craft, always in the shooting position. Westboro attacking the shot. Maddie McCall with a big save. Wachusett's Rachel Easley with a great feed to LaPosta. Twine finder. Mountaineers are down by one, it's 3-2. Westboro answering. Emma Smallcomb with the goal, and it is 4-2 Rangers. Westboro, good ball movement, good movement without the ball as well. Alexa Nichols scores. 5-2 Rangers in front. Watch you sit on the 8-meter. Kaylee Wright, great save for Westboro. Watch you sit feeding the crease, and Wright with another sensational stop. Westboro just so talented, so deep too. Casey McNamara rippling the twine. And it's 6-2 Westboro. Good back and forth action right. Coming up big again with a one-on-one -on -one save. Westboro getting the win. 17-5, your final this afternoon. The Holy Cross baseball team took three of four from Lehigh this past weekend. And just the way that the schedule is set up, you play all of your league games on weekends and usually back-to-back doubleheaders. So you're usually playing four Patriot League games per weekend. And the coach, the players, they all know it all comes down to how you play on the weekends. That defines your season. Our guys understand that, that winning games on Saturdays and Sundays are what really punches your ticket to the dance. And uh, our guys came out this weekend in a, in a big weekend, a crucial second weekend of, of only a five-weekend Patriot League play. Every game counts, every game is important and trying to stress that to the fellas that you know game one of a 20 game season is, is just as important as game 20. It's about Holy Cross, it's, it's about doing what we do, um, you know, controlling ourselves and, and being able to play at the highest level uh, that we possibly can. So we really don't talk a ton about our opponents other than maybe some team tendencies. Outside of that it's really about uh, performing at our highest level possible and, and competing our tails off uh, amongst ourselves. So Holy Cross will be back in action tomorrow at home. They host URI at 5. And then Patriot League games again this weekend. And that is where your bread and butter is. That's your ticket to the NCAA tournament and to getting into the Patriot League tournament. You want to be right at the top of the heap and play in that Patriot League tournament at the end of the season. I think things are trending in the right direction up there at Holy Cross. Obviously the men's basketball team coming after that unbelievable run. And then 
talking with Coach Gilmore yesterday. Certainly very excited about uh, what yeah. he has coming up in the fall there. Yeah, he loves his team right now, and that, that senior class is, is driving the bus. They're the engine. So much talent and experience there. Then you look at the freshmen bringing him in. A couple huge kids, too, on that freshman on the line. A couple 6'6 six, six kids, D-line and O-line. So that's something that, you know, the frame they can build with there. And then uh, you look at the softball tonight. Josh and Randy are everywhere. They were there tonight at the WPI Worcester State softball game, and a great game, two local teams split, so the bragging rights are even right now. I'll tell you what, when you have their support, then you know you have a good team yes, going on. Yes, that's no a good point. About it. All right, thanks. I appreciate it. All right, for Kevin Che, I'm Tim McCullen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 6.